click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends in the last videos we learned how to find the conditional probability and uh, independent event case also we have seen that so in this video we are going to find the conditional probability for a particular problem let us look at the question two dies are thrown simultaneously and the sum of the numbers obtained is found to be 7 what is the probability that the number 3 has appeared at least once first of all we have two events that the sum of number obtained is 7 this is the first case or I can say that first event and the second is the number 3 has appeared at least once this is num event number 2 now let me define the event by using some symbols capital A is defined as event A indicates the combination in which 3 has appeared at least 1 see this at least once is a case when 3 can occur more than one time also at least one time or more than one time and B is taking as combination of number up to 7 it means on the two dias if the combination such that is coming that the sum of the two numbers are 7 then that particular event is defined as combination of number up to 7 that is the sum of two numbers on the two dias are 7 a and b now our purpose is to find out the probability that the number 3 has appeared at least once that is probability of A by B because this capital A event A is indicates the probability of getting number 3 at least once this is A and B is already given that the sum of the number obtained is found to be 7 so our conditional probability will be equals to p of a by b to find out p of a by b according to the conditional probability formula we need to find a intersection b and p of b i am already write down the sample space for the two dias when the two dies are thrown there are total of 36 sample spaces for this particular event so this is one 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 two one three this is how we can get the total possible combinations of numbers on the two dies now i want to find out the probability for total number of possible combinations in which three has appeared at least one that combination is nothing but a so let me check from the sample spaces 3 is appeared 3 more than 1 so the total number of combinations 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 total number of combinations n of a is equals to 11 total sample space is equals to 36 let me write down all the combinations at one place next we will find out the possible combinations for event B. B is the event when we are getting sum of the two numbers as 7. Again take a look of all the sample spaces. 
I'm using blue marker for denoting the sum as 7. So, so I will get 3 comma 4, 3 comma 4, 4 comma 3 and 3 4, 5 2 and 2 5. 4, 5, 5, 2, 3, 4, 1, 6, and 6, 1. This is 1, 6, this is 6, 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3, 3, 4, 2, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 6, 2, 6, 4, 6, 2 is 8, 6, 3 is 9, 6, 4 is also 10, 6, 5 is 11, 6, 6 is 12, 5, 6, 11, 5, 5, 10, 5 plus 4 is 9 because I am trying to get sum as 7. So 5 plus 2 is 7, 6 plus 1 is 7, 4 plus 3 is 7, 3 comma 4 is 7, 2 comma 5 is 7, 6 comma 1 is 7. There is no left more option here. Okay. N of B is equals to 6 still total number of sample spaces are 36 and let me write down combinations 1 comma 6 6 comma 1 5 comma 2 2 comma 5 3 comma 4 and 4 comma 3 our purpose is to find out pay a of B is equals to P, A intersection B and P of B. This P of A intersection B is the joint probability of event A and event B. This 4 and 3, 4, 3 and 3, 4. This two particular sample points. And this 3, 4 and 4, 3. This is a capital A has two sample points 3 and 4, 4 and 3. Similarly, the capital B event has also 3, 4 and 4, 3. It means that these two sample points are common in between them. So I can say that the probability of A intersection B is equals to Two, that is the favorable events divided by total number of outcomes which is equals to 36 so 2 by 36 probability of B is equals to 6 by 36 probability of A by B is equals to 2 by 36, 6 by 36, that is just a simple mathematical calculation 36, 36 will be cancelled out, 2 by 6, this is also cancelled out, 1 by 3. So the probability that the number 3 has appeared at least 1 when it is already given that the sum of the number obtained is 7 it is equals to P of A by B which is after certain calculations is equals to 1 by 3. This is how we can always find out the probability for two events which are dependent to each other. The steps are First of all, find out the event, identify the two events A and B, then P of A by B, then particular P A intersection B and then P of B. It is up to you that whatever assumptions you want to take that A and B, it is not necessary that I always take A by B or I can also take P of B by A. So our step will be like, P of A intersection B, then particular P of B and then just put the values and get the answer P of A by B is equals to 1 by 3. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda.